guys. Um, I am actually having breakfast today. It is 9.30 and I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat. And I was looking around, what can I eat in the fridge that's already made? <laughs> and I found um, the other night, I don't know if you saw that I posted, but I posted we had breakfast for dinner and I made like a skillet pancake and there was one piece left. So I warmed that up through a strawberry, cut up one strawberry, put it on there and a little bit of syrup. So this is like just a few carbs here. The skillet pancake I think was like one total carb and then a strawberry is very little. I don't know it off the top of my head and then a little bit of syrup. So it's probably about um, two carbs for the syrup. So yeah, I would just say three to four carbs. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm gonna have right now and lunch I'm pretty excited about. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto and today's video is gonna be a what I eat in a day video. So as you can see, I actually ate a breakfast this morning. It was about 9.30 this morning. Um, now the time is about, oh my gosh, what time is it? It's about 10.40. Um, just thought I would pop in and do my intro real quick just to say hi and let you know what the video was. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys saw, but I posted a before and kind of like a pro progress picture of my progress so far. I know I do, did that recently in like my sports bra, but those were ugly. <laughs> um, this one I was a little more excited about, but Andy had taken a picture of me and I'll post it up here in case you haven't seen it, um, of my recent thumbnail. And I was holding a cell phone because, well, it was part of the thumbnail thing. Um, but when he sent it to me, I was like, oh my gosh. Um, that's a really good picture as far as like the angle and everything. I don't know if it's a little deceiving or not, but I was like, wow, I've really changed a lot. Now I remember I we took pictures at Thanksgiving and if you look back, I didn't post any pictures for Thanksgiving because I just, I wasn't happy with them. I wasn't happy with how I looked. And so that immediately brought into my head Thanksgiving. So I pulled up that picture is from Thanksgiving of last year. And, um, it, I, I just, I couldn't believe it. I just edited everyone else out and put it side by side to yesterday's picture that Andy took. And I'm just flabbergasted. I'm amazed. I really am. And, um, I'm still blubbery. That picture is really good. I don't know what kind of angle he took, but I still have rolls and stuff, but that picture definitely, you can see it in my face everything is thinner. Uh, my legs, I didn't think my legs could get any thinner because I have like the smallest ankles and wrists on the face of the planet. <laughs> but it was just so happy to, I was so happy to see it because, um, you know, I look at myself every day in the mirror and I just, it's so much harder to see the changes in yourself. So when it was brought to my attention like that, it was like, whoa and I had sent it to my mom and the girls and stuff first and they were just like um that's awesome it's so exciting so I'm not sitting here trying to brag about it but I'm very proud of myself and I hope that that is motivation for you guys that it is happening it is happening this the changes that we are making and maybe we're not perfect all the time I'm not perfect all the time I've told you I have a tater tot once or two, one or two when, when I'm making it for Andy or something, or when we had our anniversary, I, you know, I had food that I shouldn't have been having, but I told you guys about that. So we're not perfect and that's okay, but we get right back on the, the bandwagon and we're doing it. And, um, as you guys know, I've incorporated working out, which I think is, is a big thing for me, for me personally, it's not for everyone. I didn't work out at all the last time that I did this with keto and I lost all the weight that I wanted. So now I'm just feeling healthy, I'm feeling strong. Uh, Ralphie's down here <laughs> trying to get up. Every time I pull the light out, he wants to come up and say hi. All right, come here. Um, so meanwhile, say hi, Ralphie. Meanwhile, I just wanted to let you guys know to stick with it, stick with it, because I just, I, I that just boggled my mind and you know, no need for like good job or anything in the comments. That's not what this is for. I just, I hope it's motivating. I really do because, you know, in the day to day, I'm just like, oh gosh, 
but it's happening. It's really, really happening. And then for July, we're doing the BBBE challenge and we're gonna continue to work out. Andy's gonna start incorporating working out too. And I'm gonna continue. And on this diet, I was reading or uh, rewatching Dr. Barry's video on it and you do not lose any muscle at all. And I'm only gonna be building muscle too. So I'm just, I'm very excited. I just can't get, can't wait to get where I need to be. And then we work on maintaining. So if you guys need any motivation, there it is. Uh, that picture right there. I hope it's motivating for you. And also, by the way, did you see how long my hair has gotten in less than like six months? It's grown. It was like here in the picture and it's gotten a lot longer. That, my friends, is collagen. Collagen, collagen, collagen and taking your supplements. So um, today's lunch, I'm so excited. I'm going to be ordering from Jersey Mike's. Um, they do the sub in a tub. I've talked about it before. But I thought I would actually show you today what I get. Normally I get like the Italian one and I'll add bacon, but I'm not sure today what I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna go pick that up later. And when it's lunchtime, I will show you what I'm gonna have. Um, I have not worked out today. Wednesdays and Sundays are kind of like my rest days. But when I say rest day, I still am taking Ralphie for a walk, you know what I mean? Or, or mowing or something like that and getting my 100 crunches in a day. So, um, I'm just not doing the hardcore hit workouts that I normally do because I do have to listen to my body. <laughs> and as much as I want to do it, sometimes you, your body is just like, please rest because then you're going to hurt yourself and then you can't work out for a while. So, Sorry for all the yapping. I'm just having a really good day. I'm feeling great, motivated, excited, and let's see what we, oh, and dinner's gonna be good. Dinner's gonna be the broccoli um, cheese casserole with the cauliflower rice that I was talking to you about. I have been following our meal plan this week. It's been great. Um, we are cleaning out the freezer and the fridge, and I might, I'm probably gonna have to buy some meat before I do go to Costco, so. Kind of crazy i'm just like oh my gosh we are using it up but that's what i wanted so um yeah i'll see you next time at lunch oh hey guys i'm back and i'm about to go and get my lunch from jersey mike's but i wanted to i'm making an iced coffee and i thought i would show you again real quick um how i'm doing that these days i still use my nespresso it's like my first coffee of the day i'll use my nespresso and mix my collagen and my mct oil and stuff like that but my afternoon iced coffee which is kind of early today um i am using my javi coffee concentrate which i love this thing i did do a little bit of a video showing more about it and i do have a discount code down below for that but this stuff is amazing it's a concentrate you put water and cup water and ice in a cup and then you just pour you know however much you want in there it's usually a teaspoon or two however strong you like it your sweetener and your creamer and i'm using the sweet drops by sweet leaf i think it is yep and these are the caramel one this is the caramel one and oh, Look, I'm already almost out. That is my favorite one. And then of course, heavy whipping cream because uh, I'm doing dairy. And I'm telling you, there's nothing like it. And then you just give it a little stir, stir, and you've got yourself some iced coffee. It is really amazing. I mostly want to stock up on this for travel purposes because I feel like you can go to, um, you can get water bottle bottled water anywhere, but you might not be able to get your iced coffee anywhere. So this, it's so small and it's cute and it's, you know, portable. You stir it up real good and then there you've got your iced coffee. Mm. I said it before in my last video that there's something about this. It's almost like a chocolate milk flavor to it. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but it's delicious. And they've got different flavors now too. And I haven't tried the other flavors, but I need to, especially around the holidays, I bet you. But um, not sponsored or anything, but this is literally my iced coffee for the day. It looks like I need to stir it a little bit more, but it is so good. I definitely recommend it if you're interested. There's a code down below. Let's go get lunch. All right. So here is my Jersey Mike's. I just picked it up. 
How delicious does this look? I usually get Italian, but I went for turkey and provolone, and then I did add some bacon, and then you can add whatever toppings, which is really nice. I just ordered mine online, and you can custom it, customize it exactly how you would want it. So I added jalapenos or you know additional banana peppers, things like that. Um, and they really aren't chintzy on the meat or anything either. And the bacon, that looks crispy. That's exactly how I would like that. Um, I also get the oil and vinegar on the side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this mayonnaise in this cup and shake it up and then pour it all over it. It sounds really weird, but it's delicious. And I like that they use shredded lettuce. But let me know down below, like, do you know of another chain restaurant that will turn their subs into like a salad instead i know a lot of places are these days but maybe we can kind of help each other out because i know that not everybody has a jersey mics um and i think subway is doing it i think you can get them done at Publix now too you can get the pub sub into a salad so yeah just leave a comment down below so we all know where we can go and get one also but i'm digging in i'm hungry all right, welcome back. We are ready to make dinner for the night and um, I am making a broccoli cheddar rice casserole. Um, I mentioned in my grocery haul and my meal plan that I actually used to make this recipe with chicken and regular rice. And it's a funny story actually. Um, I got the recipe from Food Network, Trisha Yearwood made it and it is so delicious. And you know, it's cheesy and you know, it's creamy with the mayonnaise and the sour cream and a cream of um, chicken soup. But um, then it got to the point where Jordan became a vegetarian, so I would take out the chicken. And then it got to the point where we were doing keto and I was craving this um, and I would make it with cauliflower rice and omit the cream of chicken soup. And there's ways around that. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, but it's really funny. You can make it with chicken as well. It is delicious. The only reason I'm not adding chicken is because Jordan's eaten with us tonight. You could do a rotisserie chicken, whatever is easiest. It doesn't matter. Chicken thighs, chicken breasts, whatever kind of chicken that you want. So I will put the information down below. I'll actually put the Trisha Yearwood recipe down below. And then you can, that's what's nice about recipes that you're trying to change up. You can just kind of omit what you don't need and try to find out what you can replace things with. So we need some broccoli. What I like to do is just use a steamable bag of broccoli and I'm going to put this in the microwave and steam it up to get it really nice and soft because we don't like a lot of broccoli, big chunks. Once it gets steamed, I'm going to chop it up as small as possible so it just kind of blends in very well with everything else. You definitely need a lot of cheese. I've got um, cauliflower rice in um, replacement of regular rice. Um, and then for like the creamy sauce part, you're gonna want some mayonnaise, some sour cream, and normally she said you could put a can of cream of chicken in there. When I did a vegetarian for Jordan, I would put cream of mushroom, no difference at all. It tasted exactly the same. But I Googled and I said, what can I replace cream of chicken soup with? And it actually said, replace it with sour cream. You're gonna get the same kind of thing. And well, we're already putting that in there. So I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more sour cream and a little bit more mayo, but I'm also gonna add some seasonings because I think cream of chicken soup's gonna have some of that. So I'm gonna put some garlic powder, I'm gonna put some onion powder and then some salt and pepper. And you're not gonna tell, you're not gonna know the difference. I've got my oven preheating at 375 and I've got a nine by 13 casserole dish ready to go. And I've sprayed it with my coconut oil spray. Um, at this point, I'm just going to steam both of these up, get them hot, and then we're gonna layer everything together. But I will speed all of that up and then I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. All right, so I decided while the vegetables were steaming in the microwave to make the sauce and kind of get that going, I just added a little bit more of each of those, um, the mayonnaise and the sour cream. Um, seasonings just like to your liking, I just kind of guesstimated. You can see though, I really chop up that broccoli. I wasn't kidding. We have it very small, but it's good that way. Um, and then you just kind of make layers of everything, spread it out very evenly add the cheese and it's good to go. 
All right, so the casserole is out of the oven and here is what it looks like. Doesn't that look delicious? It's cheesy and a little bit browned at the top. It has to cook in there for like 40 minutes. So um, you definitely wanna give yourself some time. So I'm gonna do a quick taste test, even though I know it's delicious already. But I think I meal prepped once. Now there is gonna be a lot of liquid at the bottom because you are dealing with um, cauliflower rice and um, the broccoli. So just make sure you squeeze it out as much as you can. But that is what it looks like. Let's do a quick taste. Although, like I said, I know it's delicious. I probably put a little more cheese than normal too. These uh, paper plates are ridiculously crap. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I even let it sit and it is so hot. But that is delicious. You must try this. It is so good, even with the cauliflower rice. And you guys know, I don't like it if it's going to taste like cauliflower, right? So um, trust me when I tell you this is delicious. And the cheese is a little bit crunchy because it's, you know, crispy on the edges. Oh, it's very delicious. So this is what's for dinner tonight. As usual, that's probably all I'm going to eat. It is already, it's already like 6.30. So yeah, by the time I eat and clean up, I'm done for the night. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share, comment, all of that. I appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.